Today I'm going to be showing you how to seal your exposed aggregate concrete. So this is exposed aggregate. You can see it has the little rocks that kind of come up to the surface of the concrete so it's not like a polished concrete or a traditional uh, kind of flat concrete. It actually has the rocks uh, exposed, hence the name exposed aggregate. With this type of concrete every few years you need to seal it with a clear sealer. So I'm going to be doing that today with an oil-based sealer. You can get water-based sealers and oil-based sealers. I find that the, wa the uh, water-based ones tend to wear off quicker. And uh, you can still get oil-based in some, some areas. I think um, it's becoming less and less common, but I was still able to buy an oil-based. So the first step, obviously, is to clear the, clear the area. You need to move all your furniture and barbecues and umbrellas and all that kind of stuff away. Next step is to take your shop vac okay, and clear up any of the any sand, like there was a barbecue here so there's a bunch of sand and crap underneath. So I won't show all that, but just clean all that up. And then in the cracks, there's often a bunch of stuff. Just gotten rid of all the loose pebbles and everything else that tends to gather in in the cracks. So get rid of the worst of it with your shop vac first. And then the next step is to move on to pressure washing. So you want to clean the area really well and uh, get it nice and clean for the sealant. Okay, it's the next day, and the pressure washing was yesterday, so the water's all dry. You want to let the water dry. You don't want to try to do this with water in the concrete. So here's what we're going to use for tools and product. So first of all, we're going to use a sealer. This is a solvent-based sealer that I got at Sherwin-Williams. You can get other stuff at Home Depot, or if you have a concrete, repair, uh, concrete um, supply store in your town, that can be a good place to get pretty good stuff too. But this Sherwin Williams stuff is pretty good. And it's uh, solvent based, which is getting harder to find. Got a paint tray with a liner in it. It's the wrong size liner, that's why it's all taped up like that so it doesn't move around. A 19 millimeter, so that's like a fairly long nap um, roller. 19 millimeter is three quarter inch in American and an old cheap brush because we're going to do the trim with a brush. That's a dollar store brush. We're going to throw it away as soon as we're done using it in about a half an hour. And a roller on a stick. You could do this on your hands and knees but I wouldn't recommend it. So with that we'll get started. I'm going to start on the steps and do some of that with the brush. Work my way back and then work from this end of the house all the way back to the other side and then down the sidewalk out to the front and paint myself out of the out of the yard. You can see what looks like some staining there against the house. I think what that is is the sealant from last time this was done about five years ago. All this stuff, barbecues and whatnot, has been sitting there so it's protected it from the sun and from traffic. So I think that's some old sealant. And over here where all the traffic and the sun hits, that's where you can see the the sealant's just about gone. So I, sus I expect that when we put this new sealant on it'll all even up. Um, we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm going to start by doing all the trim. Um, you, you could roll um, most of this, but to get into some of the tight areas, it's better sometimes to use a brush. So places like, you know, like in here, around things like these little lights here.
in there underneath here. It's going to be hard to get with the roller. Depends how fussy you are, I guess. But I'll get all those tight spots. And uh, I think the steps here are going to be the most time most time consuming part, but uh, once we get this done, the rollering of the rolling the open areas should be pretty quick. Okay, so now we have all the trim done. And I'm all in those tight, hard to reach areas. Around all the lights. Basically anywhere you can't get without a roller without making a mess, or with a roller making a mess. If you tried to roll under that rain railing, you'd probably get um, product all over it. So the next step is to fill that roller up and start start putting this stuff down. Now you don't want to roll too fast because you'll get um, the clear coat flicking up and creating splatters of, uh, of the paint all over the place. So, for example, around your house, it's going to get on your house. It'll get on your your railing, your clothes, everywhere else. So you want to go nice and slow with the rolling. All right, so that's what the steps look like. That took about 20 minutes. About 20 minutes with the brush and maybe 20 minutes with the roller. That's the hardest part. The rest goes quick. You'll probably save time by doing the cracks, especially if they're deeper like these ones with a brush. You might be able to get a roller in there, but uh, the brush might be a bit quicker.
Alright, this is the next day. This product is dried. Looks pretty good. And a lot of the inconsistency along the house here from the old coating. Looks like it's very clear. So overall I'm quite happy with it. I ran out of product over here but you can see the difference. Thanks for watching.